and then caught cats like this in years where they're just hitting to where I can hold the pole in my hand and wait for him. Oh yeah, he's pulling me. Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna do a little catfishing today. Tried to get on some catfish with Jono a couple of days ago. We went to a really deep spot and we didn't get a single bite. So I've come down here to the dam where you can walk across the river. Look how shallow that is. It is really shallow down there today. And I'm gonna be fishing a drought for some catfish. Usually I found if they're not down deep, then they're up here by these currents. Let's see what we can do. See you down there. All right, first things first, let's get some bait for catfish. Just throwing out a little piece of a worm here, just investigating each one of these little rocks where a little Sonny might be hiding under. There's one. What's that? Can't use him. Oop. <laughs> Can't use that guy, that's a baby smallmouth. Oops. Looks like he got chomped by something, but it's healed up. Can't use him because he's a game fish. We need a certain size for smallmouth. So, hi bud. There's one. Little rock bass, he'll do. All right, get a catfish pulled out now, shall we? On hot days like this especially, I've found that the catfish like to hide in the current here, so I'm not gonna send this way out. I'm just gonna put it right here, right by the edge of the current. See if that'll do it. Don't have to go far. Whew, the river certainly has a fragrance when it gets this low. You should bottle it and sell it. Les feet for men. Holy smokes! <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, he's taking a run. I think he's, he's around. He's trying to dive into the bottom of that dam there. He got me wrapped. Shoot, he's got me wrapped. There we go. There we go. Ah, he's not a big one. But still, we got a catfish. Got him. Whew. There we go. He's not a bad one. Probably, gosh, I don't know, 27 incher? Not a terrible fish. 27, 28 top. Yeah, it's not a bad one. All right, cool. First fish of the day. Let's let him go. Well, first fish that wasn't a tiny fish. A little confused. There he goes. <laughs> when it's real low like this, you can go deep for cats, or you can hit the currents. The end of the dam here, it's really not that deep. Probably waist high right now, but they're still in there. They come up here to feed. Water's really oxygenated. It's coming from a deeper area that's probably a little bit cooler. So they like to hang out up here. There we go. There we go. Here's another cat. You get out on this rock, get them around that dam. Oh! Oh! There it comes. Oh, maybe not. Oh, baby. Get out of that current, bud. Nice. There we go. Small tangled in my other line, though. It's a little smaller one than the last one, but still decent. There we are. All right. Cat number two. He's a little smaller, probably about 26. Probably only a five pound or six pound. Let's let him go. Ready? Ready? 
it goes. Back to the Jeep. Sweet. Alright, I found where all the cats are hiding. So, let's get a little bit more bait here. There we go. Another little rock bass. We're going to walk out there and catch us some more cats. Watch this. Alright, I believe they are cruising out in this area. It's going to get a little loud. Let's get them. There it is. There it is. He's running with it. He's on a circle, so I want to make sure he has it. Oh, he, he let go. He let go. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. I'm going to reel down. There he is. Yes. Oh, baby. Here we go. <laughs> I haven't caught the cats like this in years. Where they're just hitting to where I can hold the pole in my hand and wait for them. Oh, yeah. He's pulling me. Trying to go into the bottom of that dam. There he is. Woo! All right. I can't really grab them down here, so I'm going to have to flip them up real easy on the net. One, two, three. Ugh. All right. Got them. Thumbing them like a bass. Nice. There's our cut bait. Here's our little cat. Not a bad one. Pretty small actually compared to the other guys. Still a pretty fish. Nice. Alright, let's let him go. See if we can get another one. Let him go over here. There he goes. That is fun. You got a fish like that, you're just kind of holding the pole. It's fun watching the pole go too, you know, when you have it set up, but I tell ya, you feel that little thump and then it just slowly buckles down on you. That's exciting stuff. Here we go. Here we go. Got it. Oh, you let go. Come back for it, buddy. There he is. There he is. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Holy smokes. Oh, he's trying to take me into the pipe. Can't go in there, but oh, no, no. Oh, he got off. Man, shoot. Did I set that hook? I probably set that hook out of reaction. I shouldn't set it. You got to reel into him. The circle hook. You don't really set them. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Yes, got it. Nice. He doesn't feel very big. Oh, he's taking me around. <laughs> taking me up into the dam here. And back we go. Oh boy. Come here, bud. Alright, same thing with this guy. Pray it doesn't break. There we go. He's a little bit better. There we go. What's he got here? Oh, he's got another line. Yep. He's got another line in him. There we go. Alright. Somebody had it cut him off but that line was hanging on him pretty good so just cut it a little closer to his mouth he should be fine he is gut hooked by that other hook that was on him but obviously he's doing just fine and that'll rust out shortly <laughs> all right let's get a release on him see if we can get another one anytime you guys accidentally gut hook a catfish just cut the line don't even I mean, unless you're eating them. But if you're not eating them and you're releasing them, just cut the line. Don't try to get it out because chances are they will survive a gut hook. But if you're trying to rip it out of them, they're not going to. 
But that's why I always use circle hooks. Because I have never gut hooked a fish on this. And that's the whole idea of them. When, it, when a fish bites down on a circle hook, it comes down, it takes it, even if it swallows it, when the hook pulls out and pulls up, it curves around that fish's mouth. And that bar will sink in and it'll hook itself. There we go, there's another one. I think this will be the guy to call it on. Because I'm getting hungry. Oh, Lordy. He's really diving. Oh, my goodness. Haven't seen him yet. He's just doing laps here. <laughs> Whoa, he's a big one. Okay, I can't flip this guy. I'm going to let out some line and walk over. And see if I can land him on the rocks over there. Yeah, he's a better one. He's got a nice fat head. Can't tell lengthwise. And uh, my scale doesn't work, so. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's the best one of the day. Easily the best one of the day. Look at that. That's a good one. All right. I bet you he's 10 pounds. Let's see how long he is. Oh man. He's a 29 incher, but look at the size of that head. Whew. Is that a thumbnail worthy pick? My whole fist is in his mouth. Look at that. Beautiful fish. He's heavy. Again, no scale. At 29 inches though, and healthy, I'd put him at about nine. Nine or ten. Let's get a good release on this big boy. Ugh. Not a personal best, but still a good fish, guys. Beautiful fish. Giant head. <laughs> cool. Alright. You're gonna be my last visitor today. Ready? There he goes. All right, that's gonna do it, guys. We got on some good cats today. No true monsters, but that last one was pretty good. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. I would very much appreciate that. And if you aren't already subscribed, please do consider it. I try to put out fishing content as much as I can. We also have woodworking and all sorts of fun things coming up. I have a video in the works right now that is gonna be a blast. I tried to get some of it done today, but I could not make it happen. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Ooh, that bird scared the poop out of me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.